Here at home, the NYPD continues to defend the actions of officers who shot a man they say was threatening them with a knife at a subway station in Brooklyn over the weekend. The suspect, as well as another officer and two bystanders, were shot in the chaos, and one of them is now in critical condition. And last night, protesters from... Uh, Protesters saying that the officers had gone too far. Officers arrested 16 people in the subway last night from Union Square up to Washington Square Park during the second night of demonstrations. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu is in Union Square this afternoon with more. Janice? Well, Sandra and Lauren, certainly a lot of outrage from that innocent bystander's family. Yesterday, we talked to that cousin, uh, as well as the attorneys for that man. But also, as you guys mentioned, there have been protests right here at Union Square yesterday. So clearly, the public is outraged, and they all want to see the body cam footage from the officers from Sunday. Yesterday, many jumped the turnstiles here at Union Square, uh, expressing their outrage over what they say was a Reckless response over a two dollar and ninety cent subway fare. Sixteen people were arrested during the protest. Now the NYPD has repeatedly said this was not related to fare evasion. This all started when Darrell Mickles jumped a turnstile at the Sutter Avenue train station in Brownsville Sunday afternoon. Officers kicked him out, but were told he returned ten minutes later. Authorities say he had a knife and threatened those officers. Despite more than thirty verbal commands to drop the knife and the use of tape. Nichols allegedly lunged at officers, forcing them to fire their guns. One of the officers, Nichols, a 26 year old and 49 year old Gregory Delpesh, were shot. Delpesh is in the hospital right now, fighting for his life. He was on his way to work, and there's no reason why he should not make it to work. Right? I, I believe that the, the NYPD was reckless. This incident, like I stated earlier, happened in two minutes and 26, seven, 26 seconds. There were 10, approximately 10 people on a train that are doing this, I failed to mention, the officers were trying to get those people to train as they were dealing with Mr. Mickles. The situation is tragic, as we mentioned earlier, and our prayers go out to the families. Well, the NYPD has says it does plan to release that body camera uh, footage soon. We are hoping that is sometime at, by the end of the week. But they do say that that footage needs to be seen by a Brooklyn grand jury before they're able to release it to the public. Live at Union Square, James U Channel 7 Eyewitness News.